Hi everyone, it's Ralph Klein and we're watching another movie of the week and the movie of this week was Ocean's 8 from 2018. So if you haven't watched it, watch it now. And if you're a new year, I'm doing like a movie every weekend in 2024, it's franchises and reboots. So we did Ocean's 11 and now Ocean's 8. So if you haven't watched Ocean's 11 and watched that video, do that first before this. Obviously I skipped Ocean's 12 and 13, but there's reasons for that, obviously. So I talked a lot in my last video about how is all men and there's emphasis on that. And then this is obviously all women. Um, I think I even said like in my last video that I actually think I watched Ocean's 8 before I watched Ocean's 11 and the other ones, but so I didn't go, I think that's what it was. Like my first time seeing this, I like went into it like not understanding what was happening. So basically it's a, it's George Clooney's sister who is Sandra Bullock and it kind of, it follows the same exact format. Like she comes out of jail, she's like, like I'm not going to do it again, like I'm a good person and then immediately when she gets out, she like, has um what is it what do you want a heist is that technically what you want to call it she has this heist that she wants to do and she you know enlists Kate Blanchett who was like the Brad Pitt character and then they find their team they find their team and they're finding their team and Kate like suggests this male person and she's like but she's a him and she didn't want, um, she didn't want to, she was like, I want her to be all woman. And she even said the reason was because we go more unattected, un attacked, because we're women, I guess, is the reasoning. And then of course, like, it's kind of a lot of similarities where it's like, it's because of her spouse, well not spouse, it's actually her significant other that put her in jail. And so that she was like, you know, in the Ocean's Eleven, he was, like, trying to win her back, and he did. And then she was, like, getting back at him, so it's a little bit different that way. And then he ended up being involved with it, and she cut framed him. Um, but it's something where it's, like, I didn't really notice this at first, but it's seven of them. And then we find out the eight, which is one of the plot twists. So, so Ocean's Eleven was in Las Vegas. I forgot 12 and 13. But this is in New York and I'm from New York and so I love movies and TV shows that film in New York and take place in New York because sometimes they take place in New York but aren't filmed in New York like Friends. I feel like movies more so like usually if they're set in New York they film in New York but I really love the whole New York thing and like the Met Gala is like something that's so big like so New York like I'm such a fan of Met Gala you know it's the first Monday of May like it's such a thing. And it's also crazy too because they had to have like the Met like be okay with this, which is kind of crazy. Kind of like how in Ocean's Eleven they had to have like those casinos in Las Vegas be okay with it. But I feel like this is even bigger. Like they had the Met okay with it. And then there's also like so many. Also like so Ocean's Eleven stack cast. This was also a stack cast. Like all of them are so stacked. Like. You know, Mindy, Rihanna, Aquafina, I mean, Anne Hathaway. They're, they're all stacked. They're all amazing. And then also in the Met Gala, you have so many like celebrities too. Like Heidi Klum was there. The Kardashians were there. I don't know. I'm like losing my mind. But there was, <laughs> there was, I mean, um, Anna Winter was there herself too. So just like really, really like kind of crazy how they got all those. And like the budget for this must have been astronomical. Like, I said, hopefully I said that right. Like really, really crazy. Yeah, so I thought it was kind of crazy they were doing this and then, um, you know, their plan worked and then, my God, James Corden was in this. His, his role was a little bit weird. Um, but it's something where then um, it's revealed that Anne Hathaway was in on it. Um, and so that's eight, that was eight of them. And then the other plot twist is that they didn't just steal that one necklace, they stole all the other necklaces as well. And so it's kind of interesting because in Ocean's Eleven, like, the end was them getting away, but this, there was still like a third act and it was because they were being investigated and like whatever else. Um, so it was a little bit longer, but yeah, that was the movie and like it had like those two plot twists, like Anne Hathaway and then the diamond, the other diamonds as well. And they were like very, I felt like this when they were, they got into even more detail of how they were doing things, like how they were moving the camera, everything like it. Um, and I felt like it was, it was, it was interesting. It was good overall. So I think I'm trying to think like 
they were probably like Ocean's Eleven, 12, 13, did really, really well. Like heist movies are so good. And someone was like, what if we had a heist movie with all women and we make it woman centered? Um, you know, people, you know, you know, despite, you know, where we are in the world and it's, you know, the 2024 or whatever, like men's sports are watched more than women's sports. It's kind of that same thing. And like same thing with superheroes, which I guess is more compar comparable with this movie. I don't know exactly the correct wording, um, but like some of those female centered superhero movies don't do as well as the other male centered superhero movies. So it's something where it's like, it is a little bit of risk because yeah, it's all women and there's, you know, woman power and like whatever else, but maybe you won't watch. Um, so I don't have the answer to that. I think this movie did really well just because it was also so big budget. It had so many stars in it. I feel like, you know, it had to do well. Like it probably did better than Ocean's Eleven, but that's because like it's 20, almost 20 years later. So, but I think it's interesting to see how they like followed the same kind of format and it actually made me a little bit mad how it was like so similar, which is kind of feels unreal because we are in the same world and they're siblings and that it was so similar. But I think they were, I don't know, maybe they just like really like the formula, but it's like, why can't you make something new on your own? But I don't know, it just, it, like in the end, it's okay, whatever. But yeah, it's interesting that it was all women and I feel like, I don't know, I was like 17 or 18 or something when this came out. So I feel like maybe for me, like I can't remember ex the exact feeling at the time, but maybe I felt like empowered or whatever, that it was all women. Again, I like that it's set in New York and about the Met Gala. Oh my God, it's my dream to one day go to the Met Gala. Oh my God. Uh, which is also so interesting because the Met Gala are your cameras with pictures and you have no idea what the, it, like, the actual Met Gala is like. And this was kind of like a preview, like what it actually is like. Like there's no phones allowed or something. So it's like, I guess they're eating dinner. Like I don't really know actually. Um, also, I don't know if it actually was a real interpretation of how the event go, but I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, it's so interesting. It's interesting. Obviously, I wanted to pick these two to compare. Um, makes more sense than doing the 12 and 13 oceans. And I don't know if I'll ever make another oceans movie. I could see someone trying to make another one that has both men and women. I'm trying to see if it goes. I don't know how it would go because there's something special about it being all the same gender and that's why there are so many other heist movies that probably have mixed gender or whatever um but it's interesting how they did this i guess so thank you guys for watching you know com comment below your thoughts about oceans 8 and oceans 11 and then the movies we're doing for next week is cheaper by the dozen so we'll do the first cheaper by the dozen movie from 2003 so thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe and bye i also forgot to add that i want to add here is that sandra bullock has a line in the movie that she's like we're doing this for this like little girl that dreams about being a criminal and i think that line is really really funny so i wanted to add that also wanted to say that anne hathaway <laughs> was amazing in this like her character was so funny and like the way she acted okay hopefully that's the last thing i forgot <laughs>